Hello everyone welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial video, I want to introduce you to the golden ratio, one of the most effective methods in so many different designs. Here, you'll see how easy and useful this technique can really be. And with its help, you can have a more accurate and appropriate design. Stay tuned and enjoy watching this video. Also don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and turn on the notification to be aware from my latest videos. The golden ratio from the past to the present has been known one of the most famous ratios in design and used in many architectures. This ratio is also common in the natural world. One of the most important examples of this ratio in nature is the human body, which is made entirely using its dimensions. And now many companies and designers use golden ratio in their design for more order, fit and beauty. Like companies Apple, Twitter, Pepsi that used golden ratio in designing their logos. In this video, I will teach you how to create a golden ratio and how to use it. I will also design an example to give you a better understanding of the golden ratio. Let's get started. To create a golden ratio, first click on the square tool. Then hold the shift key in a part of the page and draw a square to create a square with equal sides. The dimensions of this square do not matter. Now by use the circle tool, draw a circle in the center of this square. Be careful don't be this circle smaller or larger than the square. Now, select both square and circle and group them using shortcut Ctrl plus G. Hold Alt and Shift and drag down to make a copy of our shape. The copied shape must be aligned with the first shape. Make another copy of one of the squares and drag it to the left. And enlarge its size to the size of the previous two squares. Now rotate all three shapes 90 degrees. Keep doing this until the golden ratio to be complete. Now it's time to take them out of group mode. Select the circles and arrange them using the Align tool. It is better to know that in the golden ratio, a circle cannot be enlarged or shrank alone. And if you want to change the size of the circles, you have to change them all together. Well, I have prepared a bird design for you, with the help of which you can get a better understanding of the golden ratio. Also, if you need more examples of golden ratio, you can use the links inside the description or the link that now appears at the top right of the page. In the first step, I place the created circles on the bird photo to make them the same size as the bird. To make our work easier, I lock the bird image using the Ctrl plus 2 shortcut. Well, we need circles to design this shape. To use them, hold down the Alt key and make a copy of each circle you want. Be careful don't make the circles large or small. I place the copied circle on the bird's face. It is better to place the circles on the lines so that the shape of the bird's face be complete with the lines of the circles. The lines of the image do not have to be match exactly the same as the lines of the circle. Rather, the priority is with the lines of the circles. Now I select all the circles and delete the extra lines using the shape builder tool. Here you have to be careful don't erase the main lines of the design. Again, using the Shape Builder tool, I join the main lines together. As you can see, the bird's face was designed using golden ratio lines. I continue to do this until the shape of the bird be complete. Let's go to the wings. Again, I put the golden ratio lines in the right place and delete the extra lines with the Shape Builder tool. You can also use the arrows on the keyboard to make your lines more accurate. To use the Shape Builder tool, the lines have to be stacked on each other, and in normal mode this is a bit difficult. You can use Outline to do this easily. And the related shortcut to that is Ctrl plus Y.
Now, I draw the bird's tail in the same way. Well, the design is finished, let's go paint it. I use gradients to painting this design. You can use uigradients.com to find the suitable gradients. The gradients on this site are completely free and very, very numerous and beautiful. This is not an ad. This site helps me a lot in coloring and is really useful. That's why I introduce it to you to help you my friends and also to support their good site. I put the link of this site in description for you.
completed. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial video. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and turn on the notification to be aware from my latest videos. Don't forget to leave a like subscribe and tell us in the comments section anything what you would like us to make movie about.